Yeah. Um, yeah. So the next question is for the Docker registry plugin is basically um, there. I've just seen also that you can basically set up an ECR or private Docker uh, hub account um, with credentials um, and have such a Docker registry plugin set up. That is also something that is all this setup is not in the pipeline, I guess. So like it's a Docker, the Docker registry plugin is set up in the background somewhere. Where do Yeah. You... So uh, when I was at Meltwater, we used this plugin. Um, it hasn't seen any development. Uh, I believe Brad built it just for us at the time, <laughs> um, but it was, it worked fine. Uh, we had no issues with it. So, you know, if it, ain't, if it isn't broken, don't fix it. Um, so, all I want to say is that it worked well for us, um, but I we may have been the only people using it. <laughs> so if you you know try it out, just keep that in mind. Um, so what the way this works is, uh, let's see if I can find the documentation. Uh, plugins, plugins. Um, oh, not that kind of plugin. I want an extension. Extensions. Uh, registry. We don't link to it. So when you use a registry extension, it's a separate process that runs off on its own. Uh, you, your runners, you pass these variables, the plugin endpoint and the plugin token. So when the runners um, receive requests or when pipelines have image definitions for uh, a private registry, uh, the runners will reach out okay. to this extension and ask for credentials. Uh, okay. So, yeah. So the so you have basically, as I understand, the plugin is basically just an own process that you start and. You have to set it up as a process uh, in the background, basically, with your credentials for your cloud provider or whatever your registry that you have. And when the drone pipelines encounters an image with a private registry, then, as you said, it contacts this process here and gets a token from there. Yes, which is okay. so it's good for registries in general, any private registry, if you don't want your users to have to manage those credentials uh, themselves, which maybe, you know, there, there could be a, like a, a shared private registry in your company that uh, you don't want, there's no advantage to having uh, your teams manage their own credentials for that. So that that's one use case. Um, another big <laughs> use case is ECR where, uh, where uh, tokens expire, uh, I believe maximum is 12 hours. So uh, there's no way you can put hard-coded uh, credentials for an ECR registry into your CI pipeline or into your drone uh, secrets. So that was the big use case for us um, at Meltwater where we had a lot of private re ECR registries and this handled that. You do have to put in a uh, specific entry for each um, I know this does work with uh, in the instance role. We we did not, or sorry, actually it might not have. This is a few months ago now, so <laughs> I'm going to forget. It, it might not have worked with the instance role. You might we we might have had to generate uh, an IAM user and 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 put in access key and secret for this to have worked. But but it did work well. Um, mm -hmm. And yeah, I should I did want to mention um, you don't have to use an extension like this. If you're managing the instance uh, at the host level, like if you're generating an AMI, uh, as long as your Docker process is authenticated to these registries, uh, you don't need an extension like this, if, if that makes sense. Okay. Uh, yes. So at, at one point, we had a our, our cloud init script uh, that was used to, you know, configure the instance when it came up, um, it would do an ECR login to generate the uh, credentials for the for all of our Docker registries, internal Docker registries. Um, each of those takes you know a few seconds. So once we had like dozens of them, that probably took close to a minute. Um, and then we had a cron job 
on each of the hosts that would uh, make sure those got refreshed like every 11 hours before that 12 hours would be met and they would expire. So that did work. However, it took long enough. It added enough time to the startup for our uh, agents, for our runners, that sometimes um, drone would send those runners a, a pipeline to execute and they wouldn't have completed uh, logging in yet. Uh, so once in a while, teams would see their uh, pipelines fail because it, they, they weren't authenticated yet to download uh, the, the image from ECR. So that's just something to keep in mind. If you only have one or two registries, maybe uh, then maybe that's an option. But for us, it wasn't. It didn't work for us. We we had to use this plugin. Okay. 